Hi, this is Deborah, and this is my first video of uh, for for a detailed makeup thing. And I'm doing this for my niece Brittany. I always start out with the Clinique dramatically different lotion because I put Retin A and Vitamin C and all kinds of stuff on my face at at night. Um, you really got to start with more moisturizing. I'm 60 years old, and um, when you start getting those old age spots, which are popping up, I've been slacking off the last two months, and they kind of popped out when I put a tanning tile it on. So if you don't start out with moisturizer, it just accentuates your wrinkles a little bit more. Okay. Now, I used to put on a corrector. Corrector's better than concealer because corrector actually hides more and it's a thicker solution than concealer. Concealer just gets lost on me. But, so, um, I usually use Clinique CC Cream or It Cosmetics. Um, so, uh, they each have that uh, SPF, which is absolutely necessary don't fool yourself and think that you can't get away from this you will thank me when you're my age so I'm gonna put the Clinique moisture surge on uh, I dot it all around you can use a brush if you want but I go for speed and then you don't have to worry about washing your brushes out so now, notice I'm not putting it on my eyelids, but uh, I'm looking in the mirror, too. It helps out. Always get around your nose. Now, because I'm going out tonight, I'm going to put a little extra dab down. And you got to get a little bit on your earlobes because you'll see that line of demarcation if you don't. Okay. Now, I'm going to put on the corrector. But always leave this out. You might have to get back to it. I'm going to put a little bit of this skin uh, under eye decrinkler uh, on. There you go. You never know how it's going to show up, so maybe I should do it that way. I don't know. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I think it's going to be this way. All right. I'm going to dab that on because. Uh, if you don't get regular Botox, um, you're going to get a lot of lines. So, I'm going to use Skins Medium, which sells out the fastest. This is his uh, corrector cream. Um, let's see if it does say... Um, pretty sure it's the corrector. And it has this middle... Uh, you see that it makes it so creamy and then I put this on over top and I go down my marionette lines and I go here because I'm getting a shadow right there um, that's why when you start getting shadows right here that's where you should go get your filler from your um, from your plastic surgeon so I'm gonna go under I'm almost out so I'm gonna have to use my finger to go under and you always want your corrector just a shade lighter than your foundation and I think the best way to choose your foundation is to put it on your neck and go outside in the Sun like if you're at Sephora or Ulta it's all about getting that lighting uh, you can't really test it inside that building now I have a lot of acne scars so I'm gonna go over them with this now I'm gonna to have to do this video in different parts because YouTube only allows you like um, 15 minutes, okay. So I'm covering all those old age spots. All right, let's see, that looks pretty good. And go up in here because it gets really dark up in there. <clears throat> so, I am going uh, to get some blush on. I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, 
I think it's, uh, I like this natural shimmer blush from Borges, B-O-R-G-H-E-S-E, -E, I guess. I get it from Costco. It's pretty good stuff. And I'm just going to put this on the cheeks, just where the sun would hit you, I guess. Now, I got um, <clears throat> Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette. I'll let you look at it. Depending on how much sun you've gotten um, is where you would go in with this. Uh, let's see. I got a lot of brushes here. Mm, okay, here's the light one. Because I've gone blonde recently, I'm going to hit the middle one and go here and go down here. Now you probably have to go back and do your blush too. Now I'm going to hit the dark shade. Uh, because I, my skin's gotten lighter, I haven't had a tan in a while, I'm going to go to this lighter shade. And hit here, here, up here, and go around your chin because it will hide a lot of that um, droopiness uh, that you get with your jowls when you get older. And plus, if you have a little bit of a neck, this also uh, camouflages uh, some of the, the fat. <laughs> okay, uh... So you make sure you uh, really blend this in. All right. All right. Now, <clears throat> now I'm gonna use. I can use the, either use Mally's uh, eyeshadow primer, which is nice, or Skin. Dimitri James just came out with the Plasma Fusion eyeshadow primer and setting belt. In the top is this fine powder no actually it's in the bottom let me see ah, right there I mean it's you can see it coming up in the air I don't know it's just like silk that is to set it I guess so that it doesn't move so now I'm going to put it up here this will set my eyeshadow so it will stay put probably all night if I wanted it to I got in the bad habit of sleeping with my makeup on for most of my life and I think that causes some pores. Uh, I'm gonna put a dab down here. I don't know what we'll do, but we'll just try it. I haven't used the powder yet. I'm not sure, I need to watch his videos. Okay. So <clears throat> let's uh, curl the eyelashes. It's eight minutes. I don't got too much more I can do with this. Uh, I have to usually curl my eyelashes more than once because they droop and my eyelashes have been falling out. I really think they need a lot of vitamin C. I bought all these serums. They're working, but sometimes when I repinch with mascara on, it rips out the eyelashes. So once you got your mascara on, I would not go back with this because I have got some bare spots. So I got just enough time to do the eyebrows. Because I went from dark brown hair to the sandy blonde within like three weeks, I now have to go to a lighter shade of eyebrows. And this is Browsing's Medium Brow. Browsing's. Um, oh, you see I'm shaking. Uh, it's because I have a date tonight. Uh, um, <clears throat> In here, you've got the little tweezers, two, two, um, two brushes. And because I've been in a lot of car accidents, uh, the, I got a natural facelift on this eyebrow. This one is not as elevated. So I do a little bit of camouflage, and I come up to the top of the line and make it higher here. Uh, and it gives the illusion that my eyebrows are symmetrical. No one, unless I pointed out to them have ever noticed that about me you know now I forgot to do one step y'all are probably saying oh she forgot to do this uh, gel up your eyelashes and this this annoys me when I see women who don't brush up their eyelashes it's really it really really makes a difference now I'm gonna put in this I think benefit this comes in like a 
pretty pink. Put it in here and it makes it look like you just had a nap, you know? Like you just had a nap, but don't be too obvious. I'm gonna go back and hit the eyebrows again. And, and you don't want your tail to go out too far because you'll look like one of those little old ladies who don't know what the hell they're doing. So, and if you over plucked your eyebrows in the 70s, you can fill them in. Okay, I think I'm done. All right, I think uh, that's a good stopping place. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Bye-bye.